I'm Dan, this is Vinyl Fury, and I'm here to do a review and a demonstration of the J.A. Michelle record clamp. Um, when researching record clamps, I didn't see uh, very much visual representation or demonstration of how this clamp actually works and how it looks when it's doing its job. So I thought I would take the opportunity to uh, fill that void here on YouTube. I used to have a Clear Audio Clever Clamp, which is a nice little device made of plastic that would fit over pretty much any turntable spindle. Very lightweight, didn't add any uh, weight to the, the motor or anything. What it does is, is help that record stay closer to the platter and reducing resonance and overall improving the sonic reproduction from the record. Uh, this takes that a step further and that it's metal and uh, it has this knob that twists down to really get it tight against the spindle and the platter. It also utilizes this felt washer underneath uh, if necessary. It's not always necessary. So if you have especially a record that is bowed upward and you put that washer underneath and put the pressure of the uh, clamp down, it's going to flatten out that record. And I found that is the most valuable asset of this thing. And uh, I'm going to show you how that works with a record that is warped just like I uh, just like I described. So let me show you how it works. Okay, so to show you how this clamp works and the positive effect that it can have in playback, I'm going to use a record that unfortunately was pretty badly warped when I opened it up. Uh, that's what you would call a dish warp. From the center to the outside, it's warped upwards. Uh, in my experience, this is one of the most difficult types of warps to deal with in playback. And as I hope you can see, this record isn't touching the platter at all at any point. Uh, I actually wouldn't play this record as is. There's just too much space in between the record and the platter. The stylus has no support underneath it. And believe me, it looks worse in person. Okay, so we've removed the record from the platter. Now we're going to place that felt washer on the platter around the spindle. Then place the record back on top. And as you can see, there's even more space between the record and the platter now. But that's fine, that's where that felt washer comes into use, because the force of the clamp is going to push that record down flat against the platter. So, what I do is I place the clamp on, use my thumb and forefinger to push down until I feel I've, I've hit the surface of the platter, and then twist that knob until you feel it tighten, and then just a little bit more to make sure that it's nice and snug. Um, it'll take a little bit for that felt washer to kind of wear in and keep that compressed spot to where it stays on. If, if the record is maybe 180 gram or it's a little more severe warp, initially it might pop back up. So give it a few seconds, maybe give it a tug or two to make sure it's snug against the platter so you don't have your record popping up while you're playing it. Um, now that I've been using it a few months, I really don't have any trouble with that anymore. Even 180 gram records with the felt washer underneath will stay snug against the platter. And now with our washer and clamp firmly in place, we turn on the turntable and we can see that that record is nice and flat against the platter. Even though that record is very warped, with this clamp on top of it, it's perfectly flat and perfectly safe to play with no worry of damaging your stylus as it goes up and down with that warp. And I have found with all kinds of different warps, they have been significantly reduced or eliminated in playback when using the J.A. Michelle record clamp, and I've been very pleased with it so far. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed this review and demonstration of the J.A. Michelle record clamp. I've been using it for several months myself, and I've found it invaluable. I use it every time, and I've gotten great results. So I do recommend it. I'll leave some links below to online retailers where you might be able to purchase it or see other reviews. Um, feel free to check out the rest of the channel and if you like, subscribe. Also feel free to leave your comments uh, or questions and I'll get back to you uh, as soon as I can. Um, I hope you found this useful. Thanks for watching. Take care and enjoy your music.